aka Nikki Vegan and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really quick and easy dinner and also a dessert using foods that you can find in your freezer. And I know frozen food can seem kind of boring sometimes but I'm going to show you how to make it into something really delicious that's quick and easy to make, all vegan of course, and also really inexpensive. So let's get started. So especially on weeks that I know I have a lot of things going on and I don't have time to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, I will load up my freezer with frozen foods. And some of my favorites include these brown rice packets. I get these at Trader Joe's. They're frozen and I just pop them in the microwave and they cook perfectly in about three minutes. I've also been loving using cauliflower rice and also some kombucha. This is just peeled and diced. I just pop it into the microwave or I steam it really quickly and it's so good. And I also love having broccoli florets and also frozen corn. Those are kind of like my staples and I can throw this into pasta sauces, into store-bought soups to kind of add some extra veggies or I will put them in baked potatoes. There's so many different possibilities of what you can do with frozen foods and it doesn't have to be just plain old boring steamed veggies. But today I'm gonna show you how to make tacos out of it because I love tacos and I feel like they're so flavorful and satisfying. So I'm gonna be just warming up this cauliflower rice. If you don't have this at your local grocery store, you can just pulse fresh cauliflower into a food processor until it's a fine consistency like rice and then freeze it and use it as you need it. And I'm just going to add about a cup of this to a pan with some water, just enough to saute. You don't want it to be too much water. I'd say it's just a couple tablespoons. And then I added chili powder, garlic powder, and onion powder. Now this variety already has a little bit of salt and there's salt in the condiments I'm gonna use later on. So I don't add salt, but feel free to do so if you like. And then add a little bit more water if you see that the pan starts to get dry and then I turn off the heat after about I don't know three minutes or so cover it and let it steam and then in a nearby pot I'm just steaming the broccoli the corn and the kombucha squash and this only takes a couple of minutes so in literally less than five minutes your veggies are totally ready And since I wanna get dinner on the table really fast, cause I'm usually really hungry on busy days, I just use the time that the veggies are cooking to warm up some tortillas in the microwave. And then I add some of these refried beans that I get from Trader Joe's. I love this kind in particular because they don't have any extra oil added. And then I add my warm cauliflower rice. And this is so tasty because it has that seasoning from the chili powder and the garlic powder and the onion powder. It's so flavorful. And I find that it just adds a really nice texture to top so definitely try it if you haven't. I like using pico de gallo. I just love how fresh it is and it adds so much flavor. It also has finely chopped onions and jalapenos in it sometimes, so that adds a ton of flavor and also saves you having to chop any extra vegetables. While I'm preparing those, I put the rice in the microwave so it only takes like three minutes and then once it's done you get this nice fluffy brown rice and I love that it's organic and that it's like only a few dollars and it's just so convenient so I put that on my plate and then I top it with the rest of the veggies and sometimes I just eat that as a side dish or I'll heat up more corn tortillas and kind of make tacos out of that this is my favorite dinner to make from the freezer because it's so flavorful. It's a little bit spicy, it's really filling, it's fresh, it's light. I don't feel like gross afterwards, but I feel really nice and full and energized and it literally takes less than 10 minutes altogether. One of my favorite desserts to make this time of year, now that the weather's getting warmer, is my pina colada ice cream. This is great for dessert. It's also good as a snack or even a light breakfast. I love all these flavors together. So you just wanna add one ripe frozen banana. You wanna make sure it has those spots on it so it's nice and sweet, and then freeze it, and then add that to the blender with one cup of frozen pineapple. This is just such a good flavor combo. It feels very tropical, it's super refreshing, and I love adding a little bit of mango as well. So I'm adding one cup of pineapple and about half of a cup of frozen mango to this. 
Then I'm gonna add some coconut milk. I like to use the kind out of the can, and what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of the cream on top, but I usually use mostly just the coconut water, so it's one full tablespoon of just coconut water, and then the other half has a little bit of cream. I have all the proportions and measurements in the description box under this video, but you also wanna add a little bit of water, depending on how thick you like it. I kind of play around with the proportions. Sometimes it's half of a cup, sometimes it's three quarters of a cup, but you wanna make sure that your water is cold and that your fruits are frozen. That's how you're really gonna get a nice creamy consistency like this. I like it a little bit on the softer side, so it's kinda of like soft serve ice cream, but if you wanted it to be thicker, you could just use a little bit less liquid. And you might find that you need to take it off of the blender, shake it around a couple times and blend it again just so nothing you don't get any like big chunks in it or whatever but it's pretty easy to blend and as you can see it turns into this amazing smooth creamy consistency and it's so refreshing I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and share it with your friends and family members that you know struggle with trying to eat healthy I know I hear this all the time from people and when I'm busy too like I do not have the time to cook or spend a lot of time in the kitchen or I'll go to the grocery store with the best of intent but then I end up with all these fruits and vegetables that just kind of go bad because I don't have time to cook them and frozen food just seems boring in general so I really want people to know that you can make great healthy inexpensive delicious vegan meals from the freezer in no time at all and it can taste really good so spread the word help them eat healthier help them get inspired and if you guys want to see more videos like this about what to do with frozen food just let me know in the comments and I will make more videos like this in the future so thank you for watching I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon bye